Hello, let's draw a two-point center circle spiral given the distance P between the spiral branches. The distances between the spiral branches are the same. More precisely, the distances of intersecting points along a line through the vertices are the same length, P. The two centers of the spiral will be the two ends of a line segment with length exactly one half of the given length, P. To work out the midpoint of the line segment P, we are going to draw the perpendicular bisector. Firstly, we must draw two arcs which are centered on both ends of our line segment P, as can be seen here in the video. These arcs are going to have the same radiuses. The only condition is that the length of the radius must be longer than half the length of the line segment P. We scribe a second arc to intersect our previously drawn arc above and below the line segment P, as shown here in the video. Now we are going to join our intersecting arcs with a line, and this line cuts the line segment P at midpoint M. So now we have calculated half of our line segment P. So now we are going to draw a straight horizontal line in the center of the screen and to mark point 1 as can be seen here. So now setting our compass to length P over 2, we are going to transport it onto our horizontal line. Centering our compass on point 1, we scribe an arc until it cuts the line at point 2, which will also be the second center of our spiral. So now, finally, we are ready to draw the spiral. With our compass centered on point 1 and length 1, 2, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the horizontal line at point A. So now with our compass centered on point 2 and set to length 2A, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the horizontal line again at point B. Here you can see the spiral forming from two separate circle arcs and the distances from point 2 to B is equal to our given line length P. Theoretically the spiral can go to infinity and we will continue drawing it until we fill the screen. So to continue the spiral with our compass centered on point 1 and length 1B, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the horizontal line at point C. Now with our compass set on 2 and length 2C, we scribe an arc until it cuts our horizontal line at point D. And again with our compass set on point 1, we scribe an arc until it cuts our horizontal line at point E. And with our compass set on point 2 and length 2E, we scribe an arc until it cuts our horizontal line again at point F. So let me remind you to be very careful when setting the compass lengths. The typical errors in these exercises are not drawing the polygon correctly, setting out the compass in the incorrect centers, wrong direction with the prolongations, etc. So now we have our two points center circle spiral given the distance P between branches. Thank you very much. I hope this video has helped you. Please click like or subscribe to our channel.